Hello everyone. Um, I'm gonna give you a tour of my new house. It's actually a duplex, so everything you're about to see is basically a mirror image of what is on the other side. Um, it's not that big, so this goes by fairly quickly. I will try and tell you about some of the things as we go through the house, but a lot of it you're gonna recognize from where I lived previously. But I just thought it's kind of cool so you guys know where I live. I always like seeing other people's like house tours and like a tour of their altar and all of that, so I like to do videos like this. Anyway. Um, if you look behind me here, you're basically looking from where my front door is. Like, this is my front door. You are at my front door looking into my house right now. Um, this is the exact same tapestry that was hanging in my living room at the other place. There is balloons in front of it right now that were there from my wedding, so you can't see it very well, but I'm... If you've seen the video where I was talking about, like, pagans and mental illness, you definitely know what tapestry I'm talking about, because I did a video directly in front of it. Anyhow, this was something I got for... Uh, my wedding that I really 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 like my maid of honor got it for me and it's other than the gift that Delia got me this is probably my other favorite gift just because it's pretty and I like pretty things so got that all of the rooms in the house I'm going to show you we painted this room and the two bedrooms uh, we did not do this gray on the wall here though but we I like color and yeah so I picked this green and I like it anyway uh, this is where I spend about 90% of my time just chilling in here with the cats as you can see fat cat is also chilling in here That's what he likes to do. This is our kitchen table except that it doesn't fit in the kitchen because the kitchen is tiny and the table is huge So it is in our living room instead and it actually functions really well for holding random crap uh, This is where I, I have a bunch of my work stuff over there right now and all of our mail and bills we have to pay and like wedding thank you notes that I was writing and all of this sort of stuff. Um, we've got the television and the gaming center which is not... we actually really don't have a whole lot of games. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing in some ways and it's a sad thing in others. My bass guitar and I have to show you guys this because this is a wedding gift from my ring bearer and his parents but um, she had our names engraved and our wedding date put on it, and he put in here, he made me a Pokemon forest. And I don't know how well you can see the Pokemon that are in there. Not supremely well. There's like a Weedle over here, too. What's back there? Is that a Caterpie? Yeah. Anyway, he's super cute, and he made me a Pokemon forest with his own Pokemon, so I was very flattered. Anyway, um, I've got this really nifty window that goes from the kitchen into the living room. So I've got like my favorite Maneki Neko that I have, one of my very favorite angels. Um, the thing that had cat grass in it previously, but it was too cute to get rid of once it died. And then another favorite angel of mine. Um, that was actually my wedding bouquet and it's totally wilted now and dead. But it was beautiful. Uh, let's see, what else do I got over here? Oh, this is my rock display cabinet. It is amazing, and I will do an entire video on stuff in here at some point in the future, but it really is. You'll, I'm sure you guys recognize this thing in here because it was at my other house, but I love this cabinet. It is amazing. And this is the other rock cabinet that was behind me in just about every video I've ever done, so I know you guys know what that one is. <laughs> uh, this is like my collection of fairies and a couple of angels that I really like, and they're just really really neat. Every time I see these it reminds me of Tia like because I know how much she likes fairies and like fairy figurines so. Um, what else have I got? Some of my anime. This is my bookshelf and it is maybe like I, I don't even I would say like a fifth of all of the books that I own are on this shelf like I have so many books I, it's hard to even guess at how many I have now but all my pagan books are on the bottom and they're turned the other way on like all of these books that way when my in-laws come over because they don't know about my religion I don't have to like rush around trying to hide everything and stuff it's just there where they can't really tell what it says so it works out well um let's see what am I uh, I guess that I hear one of the kittens oh no that's Lou never mind I was gonna show you kittens but they don't like us I guess so this is my hallway where I have one of my anime posters. If we go over here, you'll see Baby Jean using the litter box because that's definitely what everyone wanted to see right now. This is my kitchen. Um, it is not very big, but it is functional and it works and that is important. And if you play Minecraft or if you know what Minecraft is, you'll probably recognize those, but that's about the most interesting thing in here. Oh, and I've got my, my little sign. Magical things are crafted in this kitchen. Um, let's see. 
my pantry is out in the open. All of my cookbooks, all of Ian's mead that is aging in other bottles of other random things we've drank over the years. And I'm going to take you down the hallway now. We're going to visit the bathroom only so we can see Treat because she's currently quarantined in here because she was sick. Say hi, Treat. Treat is going to a no-kill shelter on Thursday because I could not find anyone to adopt her, regrettably. So this may be the last time you guys ever see her. So, Treat's in here. Say bye, pretty baby. Anyway. This is my bathroom. It is a bathroom and not that interesting, so we're leaving. There's Squeedles hiding right in plain sight. Being crazy. Where are you going? Oh, he's gonna play with his brother, who's also being crazy. Those two are hilarious. I absolutely love them. So this is my, like, I guess, hall closet, but it's also just our only closet we have to hang coats and stuff, so there's, like, a vacuum and random winter things in there. This room is Ian's room, and I say it's Ian's room because I have my computer stuff right there in the corner, but everything else in here is basically Ian's. Um, that's his computer and everything, and all of his laundry and still boxes that have not been unpacked now, even though we moved in here, like, a month ago. And his closet, and I've got to show you, this handprint was here when we moved in. We painted this room, um, but that was there, and he wanted to leave it because he said it's the white hand of Sauron, and so it, it's a Lord of the Rings nerdy moment, I guess, that he had, but, um, yep, that's, that's my space. Not my space, but my living area that I like to hang out in. And then, excuse me, Lou. This would be my room, which is where our bed is. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the light. So a lot of this stuff you're gonna recognize, like these, um, and for the most part everything on it is probably still familiar to you. But some of it might be new, because I did pull some things out of storage, though not absolutely everything my shoes are on. Oh yeah, this wonderful punch in the door was also here when we moved, so love that. Um, yeah, I've got, I love this mirror. I have not had it up in ages now because I didn't want the cats to knock it down in the bathroom when they were living in there because it was originally my bathroom at the other house, but it's really pretty. I've got all my storm pictures that used to be on the bathroom door on this wall. And we originally had our bed facing like it was this way and we turned it because Ian was throwing a fit about how he had to climb out of it every time, like he had to climb out awkwardly, so we just turned the bed and it actually is way better this way anyway. Um, that is my dresser. It's new, which I like. And random crap all over it. And then this area is my altar area. I st oh, and Ian's book is for some reason on the floor. I still have not done a whole lot with this area other than like put some things away. Oh, and there's a wand. That's a willow wand that Blaine gave me that's really awesome that I have not yet had a chance to use, but I really like it. Anyway, um, this is my altar for now. It is set up exactly the same way that it was at the other house. Oh, and those are the candles Dilia gave us I burned, and they were amazing. I love them. Ooh, the house popped. Um, yeah, that is my area over here. And all of my pentacle necklaces and that sort of thing. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you guys about? Pretty much nothing. That is my closet. It does not have a handprint on the door, although I will say, when we very first moved in here, there was a handprint like right here on the wall, and we just painted over it. So, anyway. Ugh. That is my house tour. Um, more than likely, I will be doing a majority of my videos in the living room. Excuse me, kitten. Just getting all in my way. Um, I will probably do almost all my videos in here because as you can see, there's really good lighting. You can actually see me versus all the other rooms are pretty dark for the most part. So I'll either do them in front of my computer here or I'll probably do them here in the living room just so you can see what is going on. Oh, and I think Fat Cat would like to say hello to everyone. He says hi. What's up, little Mew? Are you purring? You're very sweet. Anyway, that's all we got for now. So, hope you enjoyed the tour. I like watching videos like this that other people do 
So I always try and do some just in case you're also one of those people. Anyway, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.